Hi, David Abanaturo, continuing the review of CFA Level 1 Technical Analysis. And we're not endorsing technical analysis, we're just reviewing CFA Level 1 contents. Two broad types of chart patterns, reversals and continuation. The previous video looked at common reversal chart patterns, and so this is the other group, continuation chart patterns. Why do we call them continuation chart patterns? because they continue an overall long-term trend in the price. So in the case of an ascending triangle, the first key feature here is a pre-existing upward trend in the price. So we have an upward trend, the first element, then it's interrupted by the pattern breaking out into an upward trend. So you see how the upward trend is not reversed, it's a continuation of the upward trend. In the case of the descending triangle, similarly, First element here is the pre-existing downward trend or downward long-term trend in the price that's interrupted by the pattern breaking out into a continuation in the downward trend. We could call the base the distance between the horizontal uh, resistance line and the lowest point on the uh, local support line here. In the case of the ascending triangle, that support is not going to be uh, horizontal, it's going to be upward sloping. And then we can call their intersection the apex or the cradle. So we have a support line here that's heading up in the case of the ascending triangle to meet with the horizontal resistance line. And in the case of the descending triangle, we, on the other hand, have a horizontal support line that's being met by a downward sloping resistance line. So really briefly on the whole theory of the continuation chart patterns, what we the theory is that new investors, in the case of this ascending triangle, new investors are stepping in to replace current investors that want to exit the stock. So here the route, the upward trend is here interrupted here by this reversal as existing uh, shareholders exit the stock. However, they are supported by new buyers that come in and then a reversal each time. However, the new buyers are increasingly bullish in the case of the ascending triangle. So that we have, in theory, we basically have, per the resistance here for the overall trend, existing shareholders exiting their positions, but they are finding support with new buyers that are bullish on this and can manage to give support here to the continuation of the upward trend. So the ascending triangle, descending triangle also have a symmetrical triangle manifestation. And here in this example, you can see uh, the resistance line and the support line are both non-horizontal and converging here at the apex, where this first distance here, which we previously called the uh, base, can be called the measuring implication such that under one theory, the shares are expected to break out and rise by approximately the same distance as the measuring implication. So again, this is just the third type of triangle. So the rectangle patterns, again, are continuation patterns because in the case of a bullish rectangle, the overall or long-term trend is upward. So upward trend in the stock interrupted by the bullish rectangle pattern, but there's a breakout in a continuation of the upward trend. So under the uh, theory of the bullish rectangle, what are these reversals here where the rallies are being reversed? Um, they are really not natural selling so much as profit taking. And um, with we have horizontal resistance and support, and there's the idea in technical analysis of, of the polarity principle, which says that this line here, which is resistance in the bullish rectangle, once there's a breakout, it becomes support. So the former resistance line becomes a new support line. And similarly, in the bearish rectangle here, this local support line after the breakout becomes a new resistance line. And then flags are, you can notice visually, just like the rectangles except um, in the sense that the local resistance is parallel to the local support. So we have parallel uh, support and resistance lines, but they're not going to be flat. And the idea with this flag here is that overall it's a continuation of an upward trend 
or long-term trend, but the pattern is temporarily headed the other direction. So flags in the pattern are going the opposite direction of the overall or long-term trend. And then finally pennants, which are really just like the triangles except they're short-term in duration. So uh, according to CFA, they're generally on, on daily price action, they're going to be within the week. So short-term versions of the triangles. This is David the Black Turtle. Thanks for your time.